Hello there everybody, Dodgy Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to an update on my international competitions collection. You may remember a few weeks ago I released a series of additional international tournaments, senior and youth, for uh, to add to your game. Now I've updated those to work with the latest 21.4 patch and I've added some new ones as well which we're going to take a quick look at in today's video. But before we start looking at those tournaments, don't forget this is your one-stop shop for all things international management on FM21. So if that's your kind of thing, do me a favor, go and hit that like button on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, get that notifications bell on so you don't miss a single video about international management. We've got our Let's Play postcard series going on at the moment. We've got um, an experiment coming up. We've got some guides to international management, to creating these competitions in the editor, all that kind of stuff's coming up. So make sure you subscribe, you like, you leave a comment, you interact with the channel in some way to help the algorithm pick it up. So you can see here I've holidayed up to 2042. So basically all the competitions that I've created, I just put them into the 21.4 database, holidayed through just to check they're all working okay, there's no game breaking bugs and so on. So um, the tournaments that I added in last time, so things like the FIFA Arab Cup, the Indian Ocean Island Games, the Baltic Cup, those are all still here. They've been updated now, so if you want to start a new game with the 21.4 database and you want to have these international competitions in there, you can add them in. You will have to re-download them to work properly if you downloaded the previous versions. The links are in the description of course to the Steam collections and also to Mediafire in case you are not a Steam user or you just don't want to delve into the workshop. I have also added some new competitions since the first time so I'll have a quick look at those. One kind of breakthrough I had with the editor I figured out how to create tournaments where rather than having fixed teams competing all the time as we do in the Arab Cup, as we do in the Indian Ocean Island Games. It's the same nations every time. I managed to figure out how to create a tournament where different nations get invited each time. So we have these friendly tournaments in Asia, for example, like the China Cup. Uh, we've got the Kirin Cup in Japan. We've got the King's Cup in Thailand. We've got the, if I can say this name right, the, the Bangabadu. I think it is tournament in Bangladesh. So these are tournaments where the host nation then invites a set number of other nations, usually three in Bangladesh with the Bagabandu Cup. I think it's five extra nations. And then they play a little tournament. So you can see here um, the most recent China Cup held in 2042. China won it, beating Turkey in the final. Other teams invited Bolivia and Liechtenstein. Um, I couldn't find a way to tell it not to pick the minnow nations uh, from each continent. So every so often one of them will come up. And you can see it's been held every year, but a nice variety of teams come. Scotland have been over and won, beating China and Uruguay. We've had the likes of Denmark, Chile, Argentina, Tanzania, North Macedonia. So quite a nice variety of clubs have come and played in this competition. So here you see the, the King's Cup in Thailand, the history of that same kind of format. So two semi-finals, a final and third place playoff. So you see we've we've had teams like Zambia involved, the Maldives and Iceland, we've had Egypt. So again, quite a nice mix of teams. This will be a good competition to add if you fancy managing Thailand. And here we see the latest Kirin Challenge Cup. So this one is just three teams. They play in a mini league. So we see that Russia won it this time ahead of Japan and the Gambia. And we've seen quite, nice, quite a nice variety of winners. It's popular with the South American teams, it would seem. The likes of Argentina, Chile, Brazil, Paraguay, Colombia. They've all come here and won. And here we see the Bangabandu Gold Cup. This is held every two years in Bangladesh. Bangladesh didn't do too well in this particular one, but you see they had Hong Kong and Eswatini. I am um, this one I noticed when I researched it. It's usually Asian and African teams that come, so we get Lesotho, Eswatini, but Iraq, South Korea, Hong Kong as well. With this particular edition, South Korea going on to get the victory in the final. Now, if we come over to North America, I found out after creating the last set of competitions that there are in fact three 
mini tournaments in uh, North America amongst Caribbean islands. So we've got the ABCS Cup. You may have seen my Let's Play on that with Curacao. So that is Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao and Suriname taking part in a mini tournament. Little knockout tournament as, it, as with the China Cup and the King's Cup. And that's played every two years. And we have a much bigger tournament, it's almost a proper tournament, this one, the Leeward Islands Football Tournament. So eight Caribbean nations, they go into two groups of four, and then semi-finals and final. And this one's played uh, every two years, as you can see here. Windward Islands Tournament is another one, so you've got these four nations, plus Barbados, not really part of the Windward Islands, but they invite them along. They just play a round robin. A nice little league, so some extra games to play if you're managing one of these Minnow Caribbean islands. Now last time I didn't add anything for Oceania because I didn't find anything. It's just the Oceania Nations Cup and the Pacific Games. I did go and recreate a couple of former competitions. So these used to take place until about 2000, early 2000, something like that. So I've resurrected them. We've got the Melanesia Cup. So this features these five nations all the time, Fiji, New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Vanuatu, playing in a round robin, and then another group of oceanic nations playing the Polynesia Cup. New Zealand, of course, are, are too big to be bothered with these little tournaments, but again, adds you some extra competitive games if you're managing one of these nations. Now over to Europe, there's only the Baltic Cup as an extra competition to be added in. So what I've done here in Europe is I've recreated some classic competitions of the past. So the Home International Championship, the original championship, that's in here. I've set this up as a tournament to take place every four years. Home nations, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, as you can see, England have done rather well in this test run that I've done. But yeah, they just play a four-team league, play each other once. So it could be a good challenge to try and win it with a team other than England. Now here's an interesting tournament, the Balkan Nations Cup. This used to be held as an international competition up until some time in the 60s, I think, and then when the European Championship came in, it was held less frequently. It was held a couple of times in the 70s and early 80s, I think, but I've resurrected it here. So we've got all those former Yugoslav countries, and then we've got other nations from the Balkans, such as Albania, Bulgaria, Romania. We've put in Greece and Turkey as well, because they used to compete in that competition. So 12 teams. The way I've set it up, four groups of three. The top team in each group goes through, and then they play semi-finals and a final. So we can see in the most recent edition here, Serbia beating Croatia in the final. I bet that was a fun match to attend. And going back, you can see you know, Turkey have done quite well in it. Uh, Croatia and Bulgaria have won as well. I've also added in something called the Copa Latina. Now, this was actually a club competition in the past. It was uh, between the champions, before the European Cup existed, between the champions of France, Italy, Spain and Portugal. So I've made it into an international tournament between those teams to be held every four years. I also found a competition called the Metropa Cup, which was held between the club champions of Central European nations. So I've turned this now into an international version. So we get these teams involved, Austria, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Switzerland, Slovakia, two groups of three. The winners go off to play a final against each other, again held every four years. And finally, a Nordic Championship, so very similar format to what I just showed you. This competition has existed at various points in the past, never on a regular basis though, um, but I've created it here as a six-team competition. So we get, of course, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark, Iceland and the Faroe Islands. Could be a good challenge to try and do something in this competition with them. And again, two groups of three with the winners going off to play the final. Oh, and let's not forget Africa. So I created some currently active regional tournaments, but um, the North African and Central African regions were missing. Central Africa used to have a tournament, but doesn't hold it anymore. It's called the Coupe de la Cimac, so I've recreated that. So this is an eight nation tournament. You can see here, if I bring up the two groups, some Pretty good teams in here. You get Cameroon, DR Congo are in here as well. Gabon and Congo are in here. So 
top two go through to play semi-finals and a final. Also created a North African Championship, so there's five North African states. They just play a round-robin tournament against each other. Held every four years, up to now dominated by Egypt and Morocco, it would seem. I do have other tournaments in the works. I want to create mini-tournaments for all the nations in Europe to get an extra tournament to play in. We've done it for Africa, we've done it for Asia, we've done it for Oceania. And then Europe, North and South America want to create a couple of extra fictional tournaments there as well. A couple of things to be aware of though if you do use these files. One is that for some tournaments like the ABCS tournament it generally takes place in February. So this is outside of FIFA international window. So the game will put a little unavailable icon next to some of your star players who play in Europe or other big leagues around the world. Um, it will still let you pick them but then you might not be able to actually choose them in your match day squad because these take place outside the international window it's better to in those cases choose your domestic players to try and win these tournaments and the other thing to watch out for is because there is a lot of these tournaments and if you download all of them or a large number of them you may end up in a situation where inevitably some things clash um, I have brought up Austria here as an example so you see in 2039 they played that Matropa Cup then they went off to play the King's Cup in Thailand, but in between the two matches, they flew back to Europe to play a European Championship qualifying match. I mean, it's not too big a deal, but it's just something to be aware of. There may be fixture clashes, which are kind of unavoidable, really. But anyway, I do hope those have got your interest. Like I said before, please do let me know down in the comments if you've used any of these files and give me your feedback or if you're planning to use any of these files which ones have got your interest the most but for now thank you very much for watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i'm dodgy gamer and i'll see you again soon